I get a lot of comments asking how I play Xbox 360 Edition on PC, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be going over how to install the game, how to install title updates, and how to change the game and configure it how you want. As for PC specs, you do need a decent CPU, but I would recommend trying it. You might be surprised on how good it will run on pretty mediocre hardware. So without further ado, let's begin the tutorial. Alright, you're going to go to Zinnia's GitHub. I'll link this in the description. And you're going to download the latest version. Uh, so zinniacanary.zip. Uh, I'm going to make a new folder. And I'm going to put this in here. And we're going to extract Zinnia. The next step is to open Zinnia. And it's going to create this config file. zinniacanary.config. You're going to need to open this. So normally games will launch in the demo version. Uh, so Minecraft in Minecraft's case, it'll launch and you can't save or anything. It's just the free demo. So you're going to scroll down through this config file. You're going to find license mask and you're going to change this to a one or a minus one. And in, in Xbox 360 editions case, a, mi a one. Okay, you can change it to a one and you're going to save. Okay. So you can also change your resolution in the config file. Uh, you can go to internal display resolution, and this here is an 8, and you can see this is 1280 by 720. You can change this to a 16, which will be 1080p. And you can also change your frame limit from 60, so you can increase this number. Uh, close this file. Now, uh, you're going to launch a game. So I'm going to launch Xbox 360 edition. Um, if you have a JTAG or RGH Xbox, you can dump your own uh, physical copy if you have it, but realistically, you want the Xbox Live Arcade version, which completely doesn't exist anymore. I don't see the issue in uh, f uh, finding this online because it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, now we have the game working. Now we are in Title Update 1. So next, I'm going to be showing you how to download title updates. So uh, I can actually link this in the description because... Uh, it, it's not the game, it's just an update. You need the game itself to uh, play the update. Uh, so the, all the title updates I will link in the description. Uh, in order to play a title update, you're going to need to go to Xenia, File, Install Content, navigate to whatever directory your title updates are in, and uh, you can install it. So I'm going to title update 1 and open. So now if we launch Minecraft, it is version 1.0.1. If you want to upgrade again or downgrade again, you're going to need to go to content. Uh, this right here, this number is just Minecraft. Uh, if you have other games, then there'll be more here. But this number right here is the Minecraft directory. So you're going to go in here. You're going to go to o o o b o o o o. Okay, and you're going to delete this. This is the title update that you installed. And you can simply go back to Xenia and install a different title update. So install... In title update 6. Boom. For other games, you might need to switch to Vulcan. Uh, you can do this by changing GPU from any to Vulcan. Uh, and then that will change it to Vulcan. For GTA 4, if you want to play GTA 4 in Xenia, uh, you need to change it to Vulcan. Otherwise, <clears throat> DirectX will just completely crash your computer. Uh, and Minecraft will not launch if you try to launch it in Vulcan, so just leave it as any. So now you can play Xbox 360 Edition or any Xbox 360 game, at least ones that are compatible with Xenia on your computer. For all the people telling me to activate Windows, okay, I got like 10 comments. I don't have $300, and uh, this is actually a virtual machine. Like, I do all the Windows side of my stuff in a virtual machine. I have a GPU pass through it so I can play games uh, in the VM. Uh, and I... I'm not too educated on like Windows keys and shit because I, I don't I don't really use Windows. I mainly use Linux. My understanding is that these cheap keys are o OEM keys and they're only for like one computer and they don't work across multiple computers. Uh, and the more expensive Microsoft keys are ones that uh, you could use across multiple computers for at least more than one time. I don't know. I constantly am deleting and reinstalling this virtual machine because it's, it's basically just a junk computer uh, that I can not care about security very much with. I can just download whatever I want. Uh, well, to, to a certain extent, right? But 
You know what I mean? I'm not signed into anything on this. And the chances of it escaping the VM are very low. But, um, despite what people have said, Xenia seems to be the fastest emulator of this generation, at least for my PC. Uh, our PCS3 is quite laggy. Um, and especially on a lot of games. Uh, but subscribe, I guess. I don't know. Do, uh, or not. I don't really care. <laughs>